everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm Rebecca Felgate, and today we're talking about car accidents, which are never great things to be involved in. Trust me, I have a huge scar from a car accident, they're never fun. Car accidents get even more stressful when they happen under mysterious circumstances, which is exactly what is going on on this list. Join me as we talk about the top 10 unexplained car accidents. Before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that Most Amazing Top 10 has set up a Patreon, so if you want to support our content, I will leave a link to that in the description box down below. Okay, so let's start off our list with a baffling snap. Coming in at number 10, we have some kind of truck contortion. Um, so how? Did it? I don't understand this picture whatsoever. This truck is making a V shape in the air with its own load. I guess it hit a pothole or something, and then I guess magically flew in the air. And then just before it was about to land, it kind of got wedged with that sign. I don't know. To me, this kind of looks like a one in a million, nay, one in a billion scene. I've never seen anything like this. I just hope that the truck driver involved was okay. Coming in at number nine, we have a really weird story. We have the disappearance. Of Kyle Peterson. This really is a car accident shrouded in mystery. In February 2014, 29 year old Kyle Peterson was driving home in Keon, Oregon. On his drive home, he hit a crash barrier. He even waited for the police to come, chatted with them, was very cooperative, then, when they weren't looking, he walked away into the woods. Unfortunately, his body was found five months later, four and a half miles away from where he disappeared. Nobody knows what caused the crash and why he behaved so strangely afterwards and what led to his death. Some people are saying his strange behaviour could have been as a result of a concussion. Something very similar happened next at number 8 with a lady called Patricia Meehan. She has been missing for 28 years following her crash. In Montana in 1989, 37 year old Patricia Meehan was involved in a head on collision on Highway 200. Meehan was driving on the wrong side of the road, 380 miles away from her home, when she smashed into an off duty police dispatcher, Carol Heights. Heights was unharmed and saw Meehan get out of her car, looking dazed, and then walk right past her into a field. Police extensively searched the area, and neither they or her family could explain the accident or where she'd gone afterwards. There were 25 reported sightings of her in the months following her accident, but she's never been found. Coming into number 7, we have a strange story about a car in a lake. So it seems like the confused states of both drivers at number 9 and 8 could have been as a result of concussion. Our story here at number 7 has a happier ending, but is eerily similar to the above stories. A 38 year old man was driving through a small town in Alexandria, 120 miles north of Minneapolis. They were driving in the early hours of the morning when they drove through a stop sign and off a 40 foot ridge into a thinly frozen lake. Somehow, despite flipping his car, James Sundby managed to get out, climb up a ridge, and walk into a stranger's home. He then took off his shoes, turned on all the lights, and started watching TV. Only when Sundby appeared in Andy Armstrong's bedroom did he realize that there was an intruder in his house. Armstrong yelled at him to get out, but then Sunby said he was sorry and he must be in the wrong house. He told Armstrong that he'd crashed his car and then he started to feel kind of sorry for him. Apparently then he left wearing Armstrong's shoes and the homeowner called the police. He was then found confused and cold and walking through the neighbourhood with no idea where he really was. There were no traces of alcohol or drugs in his body and nobody had any idea how he managed to miss the stop sign and then survive a 40 foot crash. Coming into number 6, we have a car on an escalator. Ok, so firstly, what? was the car doing inside a building? And secondly, how? How, how, how did it crash on the escalator? So we have some images from two angles here, both just as baffling as the other. The only thing I can think is that maybe this was some kind of freak accident involving one of those mall show cars, but I still don't know how it rolled down the escalator. I just really hope that absolutely nobody was hurt, because this is very bizarre. Coming into number five, we have levitating cars. Ok, so this is some magneto stuff right here. Driving on a main road in China, three cars are lifted into the air as if by magic. Watch this clip. I have no idea how to explain this other than the X Men were around and messing with Chinese traffic flow for some weird reason. I'm sure it was for the benefit of mankind, but still, this is very strange. I guess reasonably, maybe it was some kind of electromagnetic pulse? I don't know. Does that happen? Ok, so maybe this one is cheating because there wasn't actually an accident, but there was almost an accident and it is weird. Coming into number 4, we have the Phantom Russian car. So this footage was allegedly caught on police dash cam. It features what can only be described as a ghost car. The footage starts as the cop car is turning left. We can see the traffic's at a standstill, and we can look to the right, there's nothing there. Then, 
All of a sudden, a car comes from nowhere, but like, actually nowhere. Let me slow this down for you so you can look again. Like, how crazy is that? People on YouTube can't explain it either. Coming in at number three, we have a car standing on its bumper. Take a look at this footage. Like, what on earth is happening here? This car that looks like it was dangling in mid-air was filmed on Mountain Road in Suffield, Connecticut. This is very recent as well, it was August 2017. Lisa Bolio was driving with her two young children when somehow her car got lifted up up on a broken telephone pole and tangled in power lines. This is what makes it look like it's levitating. The accident happened on a stormy day, but I for one am totally baffled by how it got up there. Emergency services were baffled too, but luckily she was rescued and her children were safe. Coming in at number 2, we have the mystery surrounding Princess Diana's death crash in 1997. Both French and British police have not been able to get to the bottom of this one. What we know is that on the 31st of August 1997, the Mercedes drive Diana, her boyfriend Dodi Al fired, and their bodyguard Trevor Reese Jones smashed into the 13th pillar of the Alma Tunnel in Paris. How and why? Well, we don't exactly know. Police did find white paint specks from a Fiat Uno, but nobody has seen or been able to find that car since the accident, so who knows whether it was involved. There were also reports of bright flashes of light in the tunnel, but eyewitnesses cannot agree on this. There are 10 cameras on the way to the tunnel and 14 in the tunnel itself, yet no footage of the crash seems to exist and nobody knows what exactly happened. What we do know is that a controversial princess disliked by the royal family was killed alongside her billionaire boyfriend and their driver. The driver was also sadly smeared following his death and he can't actually answer for his actions now. Finally, to lighten the mood slightly, coming in at number 1, we have this car on a roof, which isn't where cars belong. So this car was responsible for opening up a brand new unwanted sunroof, but seriously though, like unless it was dropped from the heavens, I have no idea how that car got on that roof. Like, how does this happen? Like, I can't, my mind can't, no, how? Someone tell me how. So guys, that was the top 10 unexplained car accidents. Do you guys have an explanation for any of these? Let me know in the comments section down below. But for now, our Patreon link is in the description box if you want to support this channel. Also, if you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed for more top 10 lists. I'll see you next time.